now we are in Jabal and this is the school number two. Uh, this is a compound which gathers two different schools. This is the first one and on the other side of the fence there is the, the second school. And then there are other two compounds similar to this one. Uh, so uh, gathering two schools each. Okay. What's the difference in the school? Is it levels or grades or...? Uh... No, no, they are just different schools in different locations in the camp. Just for okay. uh, people living in the neighborhood. Uh, and uh, as you see, these are the classrooms, and starting from here from on the other side. <laughs> and in the other two compounds, there are buildings similar to that one, but bigger, and they are classrooms. Uh -huh. Has there been any recent uh, building here, or, is, or are these the classrooms that have been? No, the, these buildings, they are quite recent. They were uh, built from the end of 2009 till the beginning of 2010. And also we are building another construction on the school number three. After that we are going to see it. And the school is built actually with the um, financement of uh, sister school. Oh, great. So we started the, 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 the building of the thing. So, but the thing are going quite, quite fast. But, well, it's just the beginning of the work, but uh, we think that for the, for the end of January next year, the building will be ready and uh, available for children. Uh -huh. What are the grade levels and what are the ages uh, that, that students are here? Uh, well, the grade levels are from 1 to 8, which, uh, which is like primary and secondary school for, 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 for us, I would say. And uh, normally the, 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 the age range would be from 6 till 12, 13, but uh, especially, well not really, but especially from the, from the third to the fourth level, there are also children and youngsters uh, from 14, 15, uh -huh. also even like 17, 18 and someone also around 20. Uh, so here is not by age, it's really by whatever level of uh, yeah, yeah, school exactly. they're in? Okay. Exactly. I mean, it's important to give the possibility to access education to everybody. So it doesn't matter if he's uh, really young or if he's just uh, an adolescent and he just want to improve his education level. Who, who are the teachers? The teachers are refugees themselves. Normally they are um, refugees that were teachers in, uh, in Sudan. Then, of course, the number of students is increasing every year and also uh, the, the refugees have been here for five, four, six years now. Mm -hmm. So it's really important to recruit new, new teachers. So uh, what we are doing is uh, trying to form new, new teachers mm -hmm. uh, through secondary schools which are, which are um, um, led by JRS and RET and which are just there after this school. Mm -hmm. And also we are trained, uh, we are training them with specific uh, training mm -hmm. uh, with, uh, with the support of the, of the um, education delegation of Chad. Okay. So here you see the big difference between the old buildings and the brand new buildings that are being constructed with the help of the sister school program. Yeah. And Salma, how about I you? I like to be a 
President of Darfur. President of Darfur. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to be a politician. Yeah.